I'm Gigi, this is Sable, and while setting up my options, I learned this song has lyrics, so I'm gonna let it play. not understand pretty much any of those lyrics. I'm gonna be real. Anyway, welcome to the channel. I have a low quality microphone, an absolutely non-existent setup. I'm literally using a goat stuffed animal as my mic stand, and I have a very slow computer, so we'll be dealing with some pretty low graphic settings, as I already went through. But enough of that. Let's get into the game. Um, yeah, I should select a file. I love this, like, pattern loading screen. It's a very interesting design. And I'm wondering what the significance of this style is going to be. I'm also wondering about the very simplistic opening menu. And the icon for the game is also just like a design on a plain background. I would think it would be like the main character's mask or something. Here we go. Ooh, I love how this looks already. Shed works. Ooh. Got some abandoned ruins. This is a beautiful game already. Ooh, a little buggy. I like a bug. What he's doing? I feel like he's gonna get stomped. Don't don't let him get stomped. Oh. Nope, he's hiding. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hello. We've got like a low frame rate animation, I like that. Whoa. That's a whole face. Alright. Love the, like, particulates in the air. Here we go. The ceremony. That's our air control, like we got decent air control. Can I inspect this. Oh, I can just like climb. Whoa. So that's very Breath of the Wild. Let's check out that quest line. I should head back to camp. I have no clue where that is. So um, we're gonna find camp, I guess. It's just throwing us into it. Um, this camera is a little slow. Let's see. Oh, there's a map. Okay. So camp is there. Oh my god. This is a big map. Alright. And we're back. I have done settings. The camera spins at a good speed. Alright. Uh -oh. Funky door. And it doesn't close behind me. I don't want to step off either. I can jump. Can I like Smack? No, I cannot. I do not have a melee. Whoa. I get some momentum. Am I on your stamina? Um, there's totally like secrets in here, right? Maybe not. It's just a tutorial. Oh, a ladder. Let me climb this. That's up here. More of this cool pattern. Ooh. Okay, so I can crouch. Get through some tiny spaces. Ooh. Desert. Nice. What's my. Can I like. 
get close in. What's this mask looking like? It's got some like weird shit going on. I don't even know how to describe it or what I'm even really looking at. So I think was I supposed to go down there? Would this hurt me? Okay, so that was closed. And that didn't hurt me. Oh jeez. I feel like I shouldn't just go jumping off cliffs willy-nilly. So we're gonna take the short way around. Long way around even. What's this? Um, just a stone in the ground. It's a stone, Luigi. Sure is. Um, oh, and a fall. Here, you get some like serious momentum when you're in the air. Hold down sprint. You can only sprint on this. Alright. I'm guessing this is camp. I'm not seeing any enemies that want to kill me or nothing. Ibex camp. Interesting. Let's go. Pink stairs. Nice. Goats. Are those goats? Bucket head. Okay, so like everyone hides their face in this world. I can feel Jaddy smiling behind her mask, just as I know she can feel the teeth-bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's softly sweet- Oh, is this- is this you talking or is this my thoughts? I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. And her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. Okay, so that was me talking. I started a voice for Jaddy here. You have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Um, and yet, I shrug, but any attempts to act casual are fruitless. The movement is jerky, and I don't think I've ever been more aware of my little shoulders. She laughs. I mean it, but I do know how you are. Right. Yeah, I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat, you were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping into me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman, and how wonderful the wind felt through the fabric. Suddenly, you were there. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you're off. I think she's like an old lady. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jaddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. Yeah, she definitely did that in the game. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I don't know where to start. Jaddy's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. <laughs> well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something, well, let's say, as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect what Jaddy's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Um. What if I choose the wrong path? I ask Jotty what would become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you chose to stay choose to stay with the Abexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Cizo, but you know how he is. I, I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. We've got some, like, pros going on as... And, like Sable's thoughts. I kind of dig it. Thank you. Um, compass. LB. Oh, hello? LB. That's this one. Um, oh, okay. So this points you right to objectives. Cool. Let's see. She told us to talk to Halal first, so we'll do that. Um, I'm gonna look around your house first here, buddy. 
Got some like open windows, a little lantern in there. What the hell? Is this like, no, I thought that might have been like the remnants of a plane, but it looks like it's just structure. And I can't see anything. Game, hello. Okay, we're good. Can I, <laughs> yep, here we go. Hello, let's talk. How do I talk to you? Hey, why? It's why. Um, as I approach Halal, they give an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's verve and... Verve? I've never heard that word before. And vigor on a day like this. I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my, th I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric like static on claw. Um, what is this? I try to sound less confused than I am, but ask Halal what this is. Oh, Sable, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal that I feel... Fuzziness? And you're doing it right. What you feel on that stone is openness. And look at the stone. It seems quite closed. I mean, it is a stone. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. The, uh, this is a lot. I like it. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Lao claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. I'm about to leave, Halal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jai's words now, and tell Halal I'll go and see Driss. Do you have anything else to say? Head over to the temple, Sable. I promise it'll be worth the trip. It probably will be. Oh, I'm climbing your walls. Sorry about that. I can, like, go around corners. That's cool. Um, before I see Driss, I just want to, like explore this area all right I changed my camera so hopefully now I can stop messing around with it and push now I'm pushing it the wrong way because I already got used to nope hang on I think inverted camera controls will be better for me I'll get used to them eventually Oof. Maybe I need more sensitive. I need more sensitivity. There we go. Who are you? Caesar looks busy. I should leave her to it. Who's Caesar? Someone down there, I guess. I am so tempted to jump off this cliff. I won't do it. I like my little step sounds on the stone. And I see we've got a day-night cycle, which I'm not surprised by. Oh, and there we go. Oop, someone's whistling. I'm like falling all over the place. You're whistling. What's up? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Oh, wave animation. <laughs> Something on your mind? Zeki's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That Alario over there. Or that's Alario over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, when it, which I now understand is her daughter, Alaria. Um, does she need help? Zaki shakes her head. I'm not good with these camera controls. I'm so sorry. You're kind of staring at her. Oh, there's Alari. No, she's fine. I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. Let's go see what Alaria's up to. I can climb this, right? I can climb this, right? Okay, I do not have too much stamina. There we go. Ooh. Oh, and there we go. And I'm... Okay. Maybe there's not fall damage. I might be good on that front. I'm not sure I can get up to Alaria, because that was also kind of a long climb I had to do after jumping. What's over here? We've got... Oh, I can pick up a basket. Yeah, throw it. Um, nope. Okay, so these are not 
A, B, X, Y. I have a PS4 controller and these are not like, I'm pressing what would normally be B to throw, so maybe Y. A. Okay, so A is B, apparently. And X is Y. Umar is a man of few words and he's nothing if not consistent. Yep, he, so he, this is Buckethead Guy, as we saw earlier. I think we, I, I mean, I saw him, oh, when it was like panning over everyone, yeah. Oh, um, ugh, camera, wow. I've, I've never like played a game with like, where you need to really worry about rotating the camera. Um, so we'll just see how this goes. But I've told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but now I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. It's a sable! Uh, hello! Uh, let's see. Hello, how are you today? I ask Driss how he is. I'm well. I let it hang there a moment. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might sort of possibly maybe have a bike for me. Your bike! He yells it like, oh, so, your bike! He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike, yes, of course, right, yes, your bike. That I was meant to, that, that I prepared for you because today is your... Gliding, yes. Driss nods along with me. Yes, of course, right. Yes, yes, I have to do that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. And, uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. It's a tutorial? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can ride their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if I've ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days always asking questions. Now, ride the bike to that ring and back. And if you, and here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Um, don't lose your bike. When you're not riding it, the hover bike, your hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your compass. Nice. One second. Okay, I have inverted only the horizontal axis of the camera because it's really screwing with me so i like need to get it good whoa okay whoa slice into the sand accelerate strafe steer so that's so i need those controls okay strafe nope nope So it's like a mode. But, okay. All right. All right. Let's get to it. There's a structure over here. I kind of already forgot. There's the ring. Okay. They're like. There's something going on over there. I saw some like red. So I'm wondering if there's like a lava area. Can I climb this? I cannot climb. Oh, it kind of. Okay, so once you, once the well square gets closer to the bottom, it stops draining us slowly. Do not just grab the wall, Sable, please. Anyone here? A worm? You just, a worm? Hello? Chum egg. Oh my god. What even? What is going on? Chum egg. Offered up by chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock, these eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. Okay, some kind of quest item. I'm hoping not 900 Korok seeds. Um, bike. Where's my bike? A sand cutter. Let's go. 
the X to get on is kind of confusing me. Yeah, it's whatever. Through the rain. Should speak to Driss. Yes, I should. Oh, oh, so you can get some air time off some rocks. I like that. I love the look of this camp. I should give that a place to the left after I talk to Driss. I can just jump right off. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations! How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you notice if you were on fire, even a little bit. Was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. You have slate vibes. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Well... He doesn't finish. Have you already been by Halal? Um, am I not getting a bike? While you're getting... While you're getting the use of this sand cutter, that's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands? And Halal's got something to show you, too. I'll help you out with more of that, uh, mobility you're after. My confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished. I thank Driss very much for his help and his and his bike, and I depart for Halal. Aw, oh, I don't get my cool bike that I saw in like the first half of the trailer. Yeah, I, I, so I've only seen like half of the trailer. I didn't even watch the full thing. I was enticed by the way this game looks. Ooh, can I press this? I want to press things. I, oh, it's turning green sometimes. There's something going on here. They've got some, like, tech here, and I'm interested. These are totally buttons. They're definitely buttons. I'm wondering if once I activate my... what even was it called? My... um... hang on. Key is probably where it is. Um... My gliding stone, that's what it is. That I'll be able to press some buttons. What's that over there? There's like a signpost over there. That's not where I'm going. I'm going somewhere over here. I have a little jump sound. As I should. Did you? So, no. I don't need to talk to him again. Get on. Why? Why? No, that is. Or, yeah. I mean, that's square on my keep on my controller. The tuple's over this way, right? I feel like I should check my side quests. Um, here we go. The ceremony. Um, Laundress had tasks for me to complete. Follow quest. This way, right? No. So I do need to go back to Driss. Did I just... Well, did I just, like, completely miss something? There's a sign here as well. Yeah, this... This, <laughs> this sand cutter is real old. You can really hear it. You. So that's me a series of increasingly strange questions before I make an excuse to take my leave. Nice. So... Back up to Halal. I mean, he told me to go to the temple, but I don't have like a side quest marker for that, and also I don't really know exactly where I'm going. What is this? Logging in. Oh, it's a post box. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Zero. Have a good day. Thank you, post box. Very kind of you. Um. Ugh. Um, this is wrong. B is A. Um, these controls. I'm gonna see if I can do anything about that. I cannot do anything about that, but while I was in the menus, I saw that I'm just stupid and I need to follow this quest. Press the A button, please. Or the X button. This- I'm getting confused really easily. I apologize. It's a- we're having a rough start here, but... Okay. Yeah, so there's like no fall damage is there. Unless maybe I fall from like a really tall height and then I just get like screwed over. Onward. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm just like spinning over myself. Yes, this way. Okay, so avoid little rocks in the sand. I understand that. I love the 
just there's a rock there. The smoke coming out of the back of the sand cutter. And the sand getting kicked up by it. Yes, I know. Got some more plants. Oh, there's the temple. I assume that's the temple anyway. But real quick, I'm interested in these three very suspicious pillars. This screams like Korok puzzle, you know? But there's nothing here. Maybe it, there's just nothing. I don't know. They're suspicious though. That's for sure. Whatever. Onward. To the temple. Up this. It just, <laughs> it just like hits the front of the sand cutter. It just like mm, goes butt up in the air. Alright. We got some vines. So, I mean, not everything's like completely dead in this desert because we've got some like shrubbery here. This just seems like a desert region and not like a wasteland, but I mean, this is a pretty old structure. So I'm wondering where that comes from. Where the like, are these just old? What happened to the people who built them? Sort of things. You got a sable. What is you doing, sable? I'm just like on here. Can we climb up here? There we go. Ooh, got some like wings. Got a funky little nose? Question mark. Yeah, that's a nose. What is this dude? Whatever. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Whoa, whoa, I don't fall. What? I grabbed onto something in the middle of the air. Okay. Guess we gotta find a way out. That's pretty video gamey of you, video game. Yeah, can't climb up there, no way. Um, but I was saying I love how the like colors all changed as I came in here. Came a lot more blue. Got like a tree, like a dead tree. I'm, like, how are these lights still active? That's like magic lights. What's this? I'm walking. It's where I activate my gliding stone, I presume. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. Maybe it feels right. I'm ready for Rohana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. Oh, it's like red. some like mystical gods at work in this world. I love those streaks of color. Oh, and we're going up. Okay. There's totally something in that hole now, right? Alright, Sable. Get up. You got it. You just like got your mind exploded or something. You're good. I am my stone again. What's this going to do for me? We're talking about mobility. Springstone. Shell allow the activate. Ooh, okay. Gliding. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, how does this work? What? I'm confused. I can't. 
climb walls, right? Press and hold A to glide in midair. I'm doing that? Question mark? Am I just stupid? Well, I'm having trouble, and this recording has been going longer than I thought because my timer didn't start. So we got ourselves a gliding stone, and I can't glide for some reason. So between episodes, I will figure out what is going wrong here. And in the next one, I'll glide across this pit. See you then.